really putting children and families and our youth at the front of our services, and that's, that's where we're working towards. It's exciting. Maureen and Dots have made significant change happen, and we're, as a government, solidly behind this change, bringing down the barriers, providing better support and services for children, youth, and families in the community to uh, provide earlier support, coordinated support, and prevention from going to more costly justice systems, institutionalization, and uh, social assistance, child protection. Those are all very costly, not just for the government, but costly for families and children. And we can do better, and we are doing better, and we'll do better by working together. Okay. Last question I want to ask you about. Maureen mentioned uh, having uh, a you know, support program in middle schools, so a uh, mental health uh, component to the middle school, for middle, middle school students. I wondered if you have any uh, idea about bringing that forward, or any notion uh, we're, we'll, I'll be meeting very soon with uh, Maureen and, and Dots MB on their um, interest in working together at, at pushing forward um, um, new preventative mechanisms. It's so much needed. It ties to anti-bullying. We have anti-bullying day coming up. Uh, in fact, um, we're, uh, we're, our government is on track to introduce uh, enhanced legislation for anti-bullying. Uh, it'd be in the new year. I've got a committee that's formed, a uh, ministerial advisor committee. We'll be receiving that report next week. And um, we owe it to children and families to provide support and at the middle school level, at the elementary, at high school. And I'm looking forward to keep working with Dots MB at um, providing better service at the school level. The great thing is all of our kids go to the school, so it's accessible in the community. We have to wrap services around and coordinate services between agencies. Right now we have six, seven, eight different agencies that are doing, trying to do the same thing but in different ways. We're tripping over each other, it's costing a lot of money, and we're too many kids are falling through the cracks. And that's been demonstrated time and time again. And uh, we're now putting, uh, we have a structure in place where uh, five ministers of the government are leading an integrated service framework. Then the deputy ministers are working together, assistant deputy ministers, and right down to the school level where we have agencies working together on one file, uh, one child, one file, and one team. So maybe then you, you, know, you yeah. plan to explore that idea of getting a component of mental health. Yeah. That'll be too long. And we want to make sure that we coordinate it with what we're already doing. Yeah. And that's part of saying, you're doing something, you're doing something, we're doing something, let's all do it together. And, and I'm very much interested to work with Maureen and tie it into our mental health strategy where some of that component is probably the same that we're identifying and let's work together to implement. It. Right, quick, do you realize that these are kids, you were done, Adam? Sure. Uh, do you realize these kids, they talk about, like, you, the you advocate, Kristen Whaling, talks about having courts with mental, people with mental disorders. Do they realize these kids are going to grow into adults yeah. one of these days. Yeah. Shouldn't they have courts for adults that have mental disorders? There are pilots that have taken place in St. John, the mental health court, um, and so we're working to see can we keep moving those forward, but what we're looking at even better than that is integrated services so we don't have children and youth going to court. We need to prevent those problems from happening of incarceration, institutionalization, by providing more coordinated earlier services at the community level in our schools. It's called Integrated Services Framework. Instead of six or seven or eight different agencies uh, bickering over each other and their filing systems, we're going to have one system. But the adults, the adults, would it be, can we take care of these adults with mental disorders? Yes, they need support and services. There is a pilot in St. John and I, my colleague, uh, colleagues are working on that that would have more information than I would on where we're moving towards. But I'll get you on the street. Okay. Thank you. Thanks.